build we're doing for the Comp Cams Camaro, uh, it's a pretty special LS build for a street engine. Uh, it's going to be naturally aspirated, no boost, no nitrous, anything like that. But we are using the RHS tall deck block. We're using four and a quarter stroke crank. So we're going to end up with a 454 cubic inch LS. Putting the Pro Elite RHS CNC ported LS7 heads on this engine. Uh, a lot of flow, but great velocity. Again, you know, it'll work great on the street, but also makes some big power. Comp build went pretty smooth, had a couple of little hiccups, but you always do. This ain't exactly production work. Uh, it is, anything that's custom built like this, you got to do a little fitting, a little machining, a little rubbing here and there. But uh, it went together real well, and uh, I'm happy with the way the clearances come out, everything. I feel good about the motor. I believe it's going to be a real durable motor. We're looking for some big power out of this, but still very streetable, very durable, because I've heard stories that uh, you guys at Comp are pretty hard on your cars. Yeah, that'll be, be a fun ride, just a, a pump gas street engine with a hydraulic roller. I mean, if, it, if it makes that, that'd, that'd be a good, uh, a good ride. Uh, comp is we're redoing the car, we're having the car restored, updated with better chassis, suspension, new body and paint, interior, it only makes sense to upgrade the power plant. So this engine's going in there and I, I can't wait to drive it. I think it all makes 700 horsepower pretty easy. Based on what I saw on the dyno today, this thing is going to be a monster. Really flat torque curve. Uh, it's going to be a, a real handful of drive in the 69 converter. This engine has a lot of detail. Uh, the CNC valve covers that include uh, built-in hidden coil mounts so the coils aren't visible. Uh, with the Comp Cams logo and the Butler LS logo engraved on them, the 102 billet throttle body is jewelry for your engine. Uh, it's just an outstanding looking piece. It's going to have a billet front drive assembly for all the accessories, uh, the air conditioner and everything that's going to be on this vehicle. So uh, it's going to look good. We've proven today that it's going to run good.